Moving on to a little girl power now. She learned how to read, write, and speak English in under five years. And now a 20-year-old Fortson High School alumni who is bound to a wheelchair since she was born is looking ahead to college. But before she can go to college, she needs your help to get there. Our Abraham Samra has a story from Fortson High School in Dearborn along Ford Road near Schaefer. She was born with several birth defects. She was born without a, without an, a right arm, um, and then her legs, both of her legs, um, didn't grow, I guess, the way that they should have. But for 20-year-old Fortson High School alum Sumeya, she doesn't let that, or anything else for that matter, get in her way. So you have a favorite button over there. Yeah, do you want to it? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and... Wait, one minute. This is my favorite. For privacy reasons, Sumeya didn't want to show her face, but what she is showing off is not only the sound of her horn or the speed of her motorized scooter, but also <laughs> her ability to scare both students <laughs> and staff. She run you over? <laughs> she usually how do they react when you, when you come beeping down the hallway? Yeah. And uh, I, I, my favorite, I like scare anybody. My favorite, favorite, my teacher, uh, Miss Nora. She does this every day. We play dodgeball. Let me give her a hug. I was asking why you didn't ask. She makes sure she visits and checks on all of us and threatens our students, beeps the horn at them, and tells me who to fail and who to pass. And then she moves on with her day. For Sumeya, it's been five years since arriving in the U.S. after immigrating with her family from Yemen a country facing the fallout of a civil war that has displaced more than four million families. But thanks to hers, Sumeya continues to move forward. She comes from an amazing, amazing supportive family. From not knowing how to speak, read or write in English to graduating just 10 days ago, Sumeya now faces a different challenge, college. However, finding a way to physically get there. Right now they're having a hard time with just getting her transportation to take her to these classes. So our concern is when she does finally move on to college, you know, not having a set schedule, how will she be able to get there? Is her biggest challenge, which is why folks in the Dearborn community are stepping up. Our goal here is to be able to help purchase the family a handicap accessible van. For Sumeya. Nothing is stopping her. Nothing is getting in her way. Nothing's going to prevent her from accomplishing what she wants. And I just hope that this fundraiser succeeds so that she can continue to make a difference. In Dearborn, I'm Ibrahim Samra, <laughs> CBS News, Detroit. Well, over $20,000 have been raised through GoFundMe to help Samaya and her family secure a wheelchair accessible van. If you'd like to help, you're encouraged to contact Fortson High School. Now, our Ibrahim Samara is dedicated to telling your stories. For those of you in Wayne County, you can find him working there for you.